Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT1000 Pro 2. This part of the AT1000 Pro 2 instructional video series will cover installation and use of the optional M1000 external analog meter. The M1000 is a great addition to your AT1000 Pro 2 tuner. It displays either forward or reflected power, or SWR, in real time. The front panel of the M1000 features a 4.5 inch diagonal backlit analog meter movement, push buttons for selecting the meter scale, display mode, and displayed RF parameter, and LEDs that indicate the current status of each of these selections. A zero adjust screw under the meter movement allows adjustment of the meter zero. The rear panel of the M1000 features a jack that connects to the AT1000 Pro 2 tuner and a trimmer potentiometer that adjusts the backlight intensity. Installation of the M1000 is quick and easy. First, unplug the DC power plug from the AT1000 Pro 2. Next, plug one end of the supplied 4-pin mini DIN cable into the jack marked meter on the rear of the AT1000 Pro 2. Plug the other end of this cable into the jack marked tuner on the rear of the M1000 meter. Reinsert the DC power plug into the power jack on the rear of the AT1000 Pro 2. Then turn on the AT1000 Pro 2. The backlight on the M1000 will light up. Using a small screwdriver, adjust the brightness of the backlight with the brightness adjustment pot on the rear of the M1000. Before we begin using the M1000, we also need to zero the meter and calibrate the full scale reading. To zero the meter, adjust the zeroing screw on the front panel until the needle rests exactly on zero. To calibrate the full scale setting of the M1000, first turn off the AT1000 Pro 2. Now, while holding both the scale and meter buttons on the M1000, turn on the AT1000 Pro 2. The LEDs on the M1000 will blink to indicate it is in full scale setting mode. Using the scale button to go up and the meter button to go down, Press these buttons to increase or decrease the needle setting until it rests exactly on 1000. When you're ready, then press peak to save the new setting. We're now ready to begin using the M1000. The M1000 displays either forward power, reflected power, or SWR. To choose which parameter to display, simply press the meter button repeatedly until the appropriate choice is shown. Here the M1000 is showing forward power. You can repeatedly press the scale button to toggle between the 0 to 100 watt scale and the 0 to 1000 watt scale. Power levels are read on the watts meter scale. When transmitting through the AT1000 Pro 2, the M1000 displays in real time the selected parameter. You can toggle between average or peak display by pressing the peak button. In peak mode, the needle hovers for a moment at the most recent maximum value. Peak mode is useful in modes such as single sideband. QRL? Is this frequency in use? Note that you can even set peak mode on the M1000 while setting average mode on the AT1000 Pro 2 and vice versa. Hello CQ, hello CQ, hello CQ.
This concludes part three of the AT1000 Pro 2 video series. Be sure to read your M1000 owner's manual and your AT1000 Pro 2 owner's manual to get the most out of both of these products. Thank you.